Hi, hallo! So, as I announced in my last video, I'm going to show you how I clean and wash and restyle all of my recently thrifted dolls. Some of my dolls took a little bit more effort than others. These ones will get an own video. But the other ones I'm going to put in groups to clean them, so there won't be 70 videos of cleaning dolls, so don't worry. In this video, though, I will only clean Magiana broomsticks. She is a bradzilla and yeah, in this condition you can see there. <laughs> She's my only bradzilla doll. And because she has uninspected special hair that acquires a little bit more effort, she is going to get uh, her own video. So let's have a look at her. Her hair is very matted. I don't know how children play with dolls that the hair gets in this state of situation. <laughs> but well, she wears a hair tie that might not be her original one, I guess at least. So let's get rid of it. The string that is hanging down there is strange. I think I didn't see something like that at a hair tie before. There are strange white dust pieces in there and she hasn't her original clothes anymore. I have a question, really. How strong are children that they can get uh, these shoes on and off without any struggle? I kind of had a hard time there to get Miss Magiana out of her clothes. She has some dirt stains in her face and there is even a crack in her hip. Children really must be very strong. Well, my main goal for her in this video, get her clean. So I don't mind her missing parts and broken joints. Um, so, here in the bathroom. With better lighting, we can have a look at her dirty, filthy hair again. Let's spot every knot and dirt we can find. There is even a green thread or something like that. The amount of dirt on her requires a lot of soap. I'm using just regular hand soap to get all the nastiness out of her.
Before I brush through her hair, or before I attempt to brush through her hair, I put a good amount of regular human hair conditioner into her and get right in there. I'm trying my best to get through from the ends of her hair up to the roots. While I was brushing, I found even more green threads or more tiny green plastic pieces to be precise. <laughs> well, maybe she has been stored in an Easter bunny's nest or something like that. I could have collected them for crafting landscapes or something. Hmm, a landscape made out of doll hair junk. I'll keep that in mind, maybe. <laughs> Okay, now that all the green stuff is out of the way, I can go all in and already put out quite a bit of hair. <laughs> Let's hope it won't be more or at least too much. If you are curious, yes, I'm using a Monster High plastic brush for that. There were quite an amount of them in the bundle I bought, so I'm using them, <laughs> giving them purpose in life. We all need a purpose, so let me. <laughs> If you're curious, yes, I am using a Monster High plastic brush for that. There were quite an amount of them in the bundle I bought, so I'm using them. Giving them purpose in life. We all need a purpose. So let me do my thing there.
Okay, there's not much more hair fallout. That's kind of surprising, such as pleasing. <laughs> After washing the conditioner out, I get through her hair again, to make sure there aren't any tangles and knots left. I think she looks already so much better than before. But after she dried, her hair got all poof. She wears her old uh, but already clean clothes now and it is already a long video so we don't need to watch me dressing her again. I somehow really like her with this poofy hair very much. I was nearly at the point that I wanted to stay her like this but I also want to know what else I can do with her hair. I don't want to straighten her hair. I want to appreciate her gorgeous curls, so at first I'm trying to make tiny braids all over her head. I have no strategy where to start with the braids, I'm just eyeballing everything and taking kind of the same amount of hair for each braid. To make it easier for me, I wettened the hair each time I grabbed the strands. So it looks like this in the end. I'm getting surprisingly many braids out of the amount of hair she has. I kind of really like her like this. I could have given her some beads and chains and stuff to deal with the ends of the braids and to deal with the bald spots um, of her head. I could have bind her hair at the back together and so on. But yeah, as I'm fiddling around there with the hair, 
I kind of missed her extremely poofy hairstyle at that point. So I decided that I wanted to try to put her hair into boiling water. The water in this bowl is already boiling. You can't see it, but trust me, I had a water heater there. After three minutes, I dunk her into cold water. I have seen Zombie X Corn do this to his dolls, so it might help to end the melting process of the hair from the boiling water, I guess. After she's been dried for a whole night, let's undo all of her braids again. I like her very much now. She's still poofy, but a little bit less space demanding, let's say. Although I kind of miss that style anyways. I think the ends of her hair are still a bit too felty or frizzy for my liking. So I take some very old hair product from me that is called Schmusekatze, which means cuddly cat in English, to smoothen her frizzy situation. Here we have the result. I think she looks better than before. And this is where she lives now, sitting on my shelf and judging me. Awesome! As always, I hope you liked what you've seen and till the next video, bye!